Hi foodies, let's get started on this delicious Jamaican style steamed fish. So you want to get whole fish, okay? You can use snapper or whatever your favorite is. This is clean and everything, but traditionally we leave the head on. You can take it off if you prefer. And now I rinse this with some lime and vinegar and cold water and then I'm going to season. Now I'm using Maggie all-purpose seasoning, but you can use whatever seasoning you like okay i'm also going to be using black pepper and green seasoning and this is a blend of herbs and aromatics that we use a lot in the caribbean okay so what you want to do is open up that fish and make sure you get the green seasoning in there and usually the green seasoning has onion scallion thyme scotch bonnet a little ginger sometimes parsley um, depending on which island you're from you might be using cilantro but it's a really good blend. So make sure you sprinkle the seasoning all over and then you're going to massage it into the fish. If you want to put some slashes into the fish, so if you want to slice it, you know, partially just to get more seasoning in it, that is fine, okay? I sometimes do that when I'm cooking larger fish, but these are very small, okay? And ideally you want to season this overnight and that way the fish will have a lot of flavor So we are good to go. Just wrap this up tightly, put it in the fridge overnight. So for the veggies, I'm going to be using okra. We call that okra, carrot, and I have some scotch bonnet. I have thyme, scallion and onion, tomato. I have allspice berries and some powdered seasoning. You can use whatever powdered seasoning you like as long as it's something that. You know, you can find in a Caribbean kitchen. Don't use um, Old Bay for this recipe, okay? Stick to the Caribbean flavors, all right? So the next day when you're ready to prepare your fish, make sure you have a pot that's deep enough and wide enough. And then you can add some butter. And then just allow this to melt over medium heat. And what we're going to do is cook the veggies, okay? So we have onions. I'm also adding the scallion at this point. I'm going to add the carrot. And the carrot is cut into strips. You can do it thinner if you prefer. But um, if you want it to have some crunch, definitely do thicker strips. I'm also adding some tomato. Not too much, just a little bit. And sometimes I add pumpkin, but this time I didn't feel like using any pumpkin. So you can cook these for about two to three minutes and then we will add some garlic. You can cook this for another minute or half a minute and then I'm going to be adding allspice berries we call this pimento seed in jamaica um you can crush it if you prefer but for this dish i just leave it whole so in goes the allspice i'm gonna be adding fresh thyme do not use dry thyme for this recipe for the liquid you could use fish broth if you want to but i just go ahead and add water and this time I am going to be using some coconut milk. You could use more coconut milk if you want to, but I didn't want it to be just really strong with the coconut, just a little. And then some fish tea seasoning. I don't like the noodles, so I use a sieve to get those out. And I'm just using the powdered seasoning. As I said, use whatever seasoning you like. If you can find a Caribbean brand, um, kind of seafood seasoning you can try that here and then add black pepper 
definitely just do this to taste. I don't measure. You give it a taste. If you want more seasoning, you add more seasoning. You can even use salt if you want to add salt. Then I add the scotch bonnet. You can cut it up if you want it to be spicy. And then allow this to simmer for about a minute. Just to allow the liquid to absorb a lot of that flavor. You want to make sure the liquid is flavorful because that's going to add flavor to your fish even though the fish is seasoned. Now for our Jamaican style steamed fish, it isn't cooked in steam only, you know, like the term would suggest. So some chefs would say this is poached fish, but we call it steamed fish in Jamaica. Because even though it is in the liquid, we know that some of the steam is going to cook it as well. We call it steamed fish. So if you go to a Jamaican restaurant, don't ask for poached fish because they're going to send you to a French restaurant. Okay, this is how we do steamed fish in Jamaica. So lay the fish in there and you can add the okra or okra at this point. You can cut the okra however you like. Okay, you can cut it even smaller than this. I just cut it however I feel like whenever I'm making this. Okay, so if you feel like you need more liquid, feel free to add more liquid but you can just go ahead and spoon the liquid all over the fish and you're gonna be simmering this for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on you know how large the fish is i added some more scallion here some diced scallion and then I'm just going to cover this and allow it to simmer. Now while it's simmering, you can flip the fish if you want to. Or you can just, you know, occasionally spoon the liquid all over it. And just push it down into the liquid. The wider the pot, the better. Okay? It will be easier for you. While you're simmering the fish, please check on it to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Okay, sometimes that can happen because the liquid starts to evaporate. So always check on the fish while it simmers. And you can just add more liquid if you need to. But if you add liquid, you're going to have to add a little seasoning. Okay. When it comes to side dishes, in Jamaica, we love to have this with some bami fried or steamed we have it with festival ground provision um we can have it with just uh, fried dumplings rice and peas everybody has their preference okay so choose your favorite side dish to go with this and you want to make sure you choose something to sop up those juices so th this time i just use some crackers so this is some water crackers and we do this often in Jamaica when we're making steamed fish. So you just get the water crackers and then you're going to put it in the liquid. And the crackers is going to soak up all of that flavorful liquid. And it's not like cream crackers. So it doesn't get super mushy really fast. Okay, it can stand up to that liquid. So when the fish is basically done, you can add the crackers and just let it simmer for a little bit just to get soaked up with those juices. And that is it, guys. Jamaican style steamed fish. Make sure you pour all those juices all over the fish. This is so good with the coconut milk. And it's not too much coconut milk, so it's not overpowering. The fish is juicy. It's flaky. It's tender. It has that nice, delicate perfect you know steam fish essence it's so good give it a try guys remember to check out the description box for all the ingredients i'll see you next time